welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a fragrance video on my top favorite girly fragrances, if you will. Typically, I do like a little bit more of a masculine androgynous fragrance. Those are definitely like my favorite style of fragrances. I even like cologne a lot of the time, but I do have a lot of perfumes. I wear perfume every single day, whether or not I'm leaving the house, and I thought fragrance would be a fun category to do a couple videos on, starting off with my favorite, more, you know, feminine, dainty type of fragrances. Now this video is sponsored by FragranceNet. I've worked with them in the past. I really like the FragranceNet website. They have everything from more, you know, mass fragrance houses like Yves Saint Laurent, Gucci, um, Armani, Lancome. They have all of those bigger fragrance brands, but then they also have a lot of my personal favorites, which are the more niche fragrance houses like Le Labo, Byredo, DS and Durga. Um, a lot of, you you know more low-key fragrance brands are also available on the website as well but today we're gonna to be focusing more on like you know popular fragrance brands and I wanted to do you know like my girly girly fragrances so I'm gonna get started off with probably the one that I've been wearing the most frequently recently it makes me think of springtime it's just such a beautiful fragrance this is Edole from Lancome and I kid you not, this fragrance is so unique in the sense that it actually smells effervescent. There is this beautiful, bubbly, like carbonated quality to this fragrance where like you actually feel like you are smelling a bottle of champagne. To me, this smells like rosé and champagne and I get all that like beautiful carbonated bubbly effervescence from it. And then it also has this really unique soft woody kind of like salty undertone to it so it's not sickly sweet in the sense that it's going to be cloying on your skin you still get that really beautiful bright feminine bubbly floral fragrance from this but then it also has like just a little bit of that salty woody undertone to it in the base and i think that makes it really unique because it's not just a like sweet girly fragrance so lancome dole and um actually with lancome dole i had two different waitresses ask what this was and said that it just smelled absolutely incredible so i think it is uh quite unique in the sense that you get this like really amazing brightness that you can smell from it. It's like if you can smell this in store, um, definitely would recommend because it, like I said, it's kind of crazy to me how this smells literally bubbly. Another one that I've really been loving this winter is Burberry Touch for Women. Now this one has a really unique scent to it in my opinion. This one has that feminine floral almost kind of like botanical note to it but then I also feel like it has this like juniper pine note to it as well so to me the first time I smelled it I thought it smelled like a floral gin and tonic and it's just so beautiful and unique because at the same time with having that like little bit of you know botanical notes to it it also smells really smooth and creamy so it kind of smells like a gin and tonic and a cashmere sweater um, it's not overpoweringly floral. There's like a little bit of powder to this as well. So I think that Burberry Touch, it just smells very sophisticated. I picture this is what like Emma Watson would smell like or something. I just think it's an absolutely beautiful, very like elegant, elevated fragrance. And I kid you not, the first time I smelled it, I was like, gin and tonic? and flowers. So um, I love Burberry Touch for Women. This is Chloe and one of my favorite things about this Chloe fragrance is that it has a noticeably strong waxy note to it. So it's very floral heavy to me. Um, I think of big white florals when I smell this and it has this very unique waxy strong note to it. So kind of like waxy white floral petals. Think of the smell of a bullet of lipstick, that waxiness to it. It really holds strong in this perfume to me and I just think it smells very elegant, um, really mature but still nice and young and floral and feminine. Um, I really do like this one. I think it's a great winter fall fragrance. It's not so smoky and heavy that you feel like it might be a little bit overpowering but it's just like right in the middle of being girly and feminine but still having like 
a little bit less of those, you know, super floral or sweet notes. I would not consider the Chloe one to be sweet at all. This Chloe fragrance starts off very floral heavy, but then as you wear it throughout the day, you will notice it does settle down to a lot more of, like I was saying, that more masculine scent. Um, you do get a little bit more of the warmth and the woodiness that's in the fragrance. So it's quite a transformative fragrance in the sense that I feel like from the moment you first spray it, until the end of the day, what you're left with is completely different from what you smelled in the beginning of the fragrance spray. And like I said, I just, I find this one to be very mature, not in a matronly way, but in a really fresh take on something that's not so in your face, like sweet, floral, sugary, you know, it's just a really nice, sophisticated fragrance. I really like the Chloe perfume. So this next one, I traveled with it and I dropped it on a hotel bathroom and uh, this is what I am left with. Uh, the cap broke, all of the decals on the bottle fell off and I just have this, you know, undistinguishable bottle at this point. But this is Viva La Juicy Bubbly. If you've smelled any of the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy fragrances, they tend to be like overpoweringly sugary, really sweet. Um, I don't like fragrances like that at all. And when I smelled the Viva La Juicy Bubbly, it's very bright and zippy, and it's got a lot of bright floral notes in it as well, but it still has some warmth to it. So it's a really good, again, multifaceted fragrance that has different layers of the notes to where you don't feel like you're wearing this overly poweringly sweet fragrance. I will say with Juicy Couture, there is always those notes in the fragrances to where I feel like when you wear a Juicy fragrance, you know it by the scent. Although they don't all smell the same, there are those similar notes that they put in all the fragrances to where it just makes the Juicy fragrances so iconic and you can really recognize them when you smell them on someone else. I personally find Bubbly to just be a little bit brighter, a little bit easier to wear for the daytime, still gives you that like feminine energy that I love with these like more girly fragrances and I do think that in my opinion, um, this is the best one from Juicy, and I do find Bubbly to be really long lasting. And I also find Juicy Bubbly to be fresh enough that you can spray it on your body early in the morning and it's not gonna make you feel sick throughout the day because it's a really soft, bright fragrance and then it wears really well into the night as well. I've worn this to go out tonight too. I, I do think it's a little bit more of a daytime fragrance, but um, it's also beautiful at night as well, and again, just like my favorite from the Juicy line, but I think even when you smell it, you'll be like, oh, I know, that's Juicy Couture. This is Springtime in a Park by Replica, and by far, this is one of the most like ambiguous, kind of like it girl fragrances that I own. This fragrance is neither here nor there. Um, it's a little bit hard to pinpoint exactly what I feel like this smells like. I think it's very feminine, but it also has this very strong green note to it. When you smell this, it does smell very leafy, like fresh blossoming leaves in a park during springtime. Um, I feel like it's got this like sharp, almost like minty basil note to it to where it just, you smell lush greens when you are smelling this, it's absolutely incredible. It's got a little bit of floral, a little bit of powder, but this is definitely for somebody who wants something that's going to be more of like a feminine type of fragrance without being overly girly to where like you don't really get much sweetness from this at all. The floral is not overpowering. The green just smells really lush and just like so good on the nose like there's such an amazing amount of green leafiness to this fragrance um, and then it also has a little bit of warmth on the end of it as well but this one's super unique i would highly recommend taking a sniff of this if you can because it's like i said it's just one of the most ambiguous fragrances that i have to where i'm like it smells kind of sweet but then it also smells kind of green kind of warm but very feminine um, and just unique and beautiful and one of my all-time favorite fragrances ever. I also want to talk about Armani My Way. So um, you can tell My Way is very well loved. Uh, typically this is pink when you purchase, but mine has lost its pink tint to it and it's just about gone. Um, and then the Armani My Way Flanker. So this is Armani My Way Intense 
which is an intensified version obviously of my way but um my way is definitely a little bit sweeter uh, with the original my way i think that if you want a little bit more of a feminine fragrance that leans a little bit more almost kind of candy like i think that this one has very sweet candy notes while still keeping the fragrance from being like sweet and sugary if that makes sense like it definitely smells kind of like a hard candy like like a juicy red hard candy like a jolly rancher or something like that the red jolly ranchers let's just say that but it it has those candy notes in it while still being like really fresh and really bright so you get that sweetness if you're kind of craving that in a fragrance um but without being like immature or smelling like something that like a you know 11 year old or a 13 year old would wear i feel like it's still really nice and bright um despite being like sweet so it's not overly sweet you get what i'm saying um it does have a little bit of powder and floral to this one as well and i mean all i can say is i really love my way it's definitely going to be a repurchase for me to me this is like a great everyday fragrance and then the my way flanker which is my way intense is obviously a much more intense version of my way but with this one i feel like you smell dark berries so like i was saying this one has that like juicy red hard candy note to it i feel like with my way intense like i feel like it's a obviously more intense version of the fragrance but it just i get like the dark berry note to it it just has a little bit more of like blueberry acai or blackberry or something like that like those really dark berries that's just what i picture when i smell this one all the while still staying true to the original armani my way it's still very you know bright and easy to wear just like more intense kind of like my way at night <laughs> you know so it's definitely um still true to the original fragrance just intensified with like a darker note to it and i really do like my way intense i actually feel like i might like it a little bit more than the original um but this one has been like a really great go-to everyday fragrance so surprisingly enough both of the my ways are going to be in my top feminine fragrance roundup so those are all of my current favorite feminine girly fragrances. I'm going to have a link to FragranceNet in the description box so you can shop these fragrances. And then let me know. Let me know if you enjoyed this. If you'd like me to do more fragrance-based content, I would love to do that um, because I have quite the collection now and like i said i wear perfume every single day it's one of my favorite you know rituals to put perfume on every day and like choose the scent based on my mood and um yeah i would love to know your thoughts and i'd love to know some of your favorite feminine fragrances if you feel like you have something that's like similar to this that's not you know overly sweet because i'm not thinking like you know pink sugar vibes but like something kind of girly or like Prada candy and pink sugar like those are hard nose for me like they're a little bit too sweet but um any suggestions that you guys have I would love to check them out and I'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching this one bye everyone